بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ حبیبی محمد علیہ وسلم السلام علیکم وعلیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی مس صفیہ بتون سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ پاکستان اسٹڈیز ایٹ دا ریشنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج صاحب آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا ڈی پی ایس آن لائن کلاسز ہوپنگ فار یو ٹو بی ان دا بیسٹ آف یور ہیلتھ اینڈ اسپیرٹس جیوگرفی کلاس ایٹ چیپٹر نمبر تھرڈ اوشنس اینڈ سیز ٹاپک موومنٹ آف اوشن واٹر اوبجیکٹو آف آور ٹو ڈیز لیسن بائی دی اینڈ آف دا لیسن یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ڈسکرائب ٹائپس آف موومنٹ آف اوشن واٹر فارمیشن کریکٹرسٹکس اینڈ کازز آف فیس Dear students, before we move on to our today's lesson, let's review our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we have learned that ocean floor is not uniform. It is divided into four parts. Shallow part of sea which lies adjacent to the coastal areas is called continental shelf. Ocean floor has a steep slope which descends into the deep ocean called continental slope. The deepest part of the ocean floor is called submarine trenches. And a series of a known ending long ridge of volcanoes is called mid-oceanic ridges. Let's start our today's lesson. Dear students, There is something magical about walking bare feet on the seashore. The wet sand on the beach, the cool breeze, the sea birds and the music of the water. Everything is so fascinating. Unlike the calm water of ponds and lakes, the ocean water is not motionless. It keeps moving continuously. The horizontal and the vertical movements take place in ocean water. And these movements can be broadly categorized as waves, ocean currents and tides. The horizontal movement refers to the waves and ocean currents while the vertical movement refers to the tides. We will learn about these movements one by one in a comprehensive way. But what we are going to cover in today's lesson is waves. Dear students, imagine you are playing throw ball on the beach. Just think about it and tell me what would happen if suddenly the ball falls into the water. Just think about it. What would happen if suddenly the ball falls into the water? Yes, the ball will get washed back to the shore by the waves. So the movement of surface water of the ocean is called wave. Wave is actually the energy which is transferred in water particles from one to another. and the main source of this energy is wind remember the stronger the wind blows the bigger the wave becomes formation of the waves you can observe this process by filling a cup with water and blowing across the top of the cup the air collides with the water and creates ripples Congratulations you have created a wave dear students now look at this picture suppose this is the still ocean water level and waves are formed when the wind blows across the surface of the ocean as the wind blows across the surface of the ocean a friction between the wind and the surface of the ocean is created and due to this friction 
the energy is generated due to this energy the water is forced to move upward now the force of gravity works here and pulls the water down now the falling water pushes the water below it up and again a new position is formed here now again the gravity pulls the water down and this goes on over and over again remember in waves the water does not move as such it just look like that water is moving horizontally in fact this is the energy caused by wind that passes through the ocean water making it go up and down and around in the form of waves now look at the characteristics of the waves the highest point or the top of the wave is called crest the lowest point or the bottom of the wave is called trough the horizontal distance between two crests or the between two troughs is called wavelength while the vertical distance between the crest and the trough is called wave height dear students let's find out how do the waves break look at this picture as we can see the largest waves are formed in open oceans where the distance between the surface water and the bottom of the ocean is greater but as the wave travels towards the shallow water of the coast it starts to feel bottom and slows down here the wave height increases while the wave length decreases this is called breaker and as this sharp pointed crest travels ahead of the bottom and touch the shore it breaks energy is released here and a foam is generated this is called surf so this was the process of breaking waves when they touch the shore dear students now we shall discuss the factors behind generating waves the first and the most important factor in generating waves is wind as we have learned earlier that wind is the main source of generating energy which passes through the ocean water in the form of a wave the wind storms like cyclones and the tornadoes which originate and travel across the ocean also create waves the earthquake and the volcanic eruption near the coastal areas or beneath the ocean floor can also generate huge waves dear students when an earthquake occurs in the rocks situated on the ocean floor the balance of the sea water becomes disturbed and due to it huge waves are formed these huge waves are called tsunami these huge waves can cause a tremendous destruction and have a devastating impacts on the coastal areas dear students let's recapitulate our today's lesson through this activity in this activity six descriptions are given here and for the each description the correct term is given in this box what you all need to do is to read the description carefully and find out the correct term for this description from this box and we shall place that correct term in the space provided here okay so let's start with the first description that is 
the distance between two crests think about it the distance between two crests now find out the correct term for this description from this box yes the distance between two crests is wavelength well done everyone now turn to the second description that is the main source of generating waves what is the main source of generating waves yes the main source of generating waves is wind well done now turn to the third description that is the highest point in a wave the highest point in a wave Yes, very good. The highest point in a wave is crest. Now turn to the fourth description, the movement of surface water. The movement of surface water. Yes, the movement of surface water is wave. Now turn to the fifth description that is wave breaks to make foam wave breaks to make foam yes surf is the correct term for this description now turn to the last description that is the lowest point in a wave which is the lowest point in a wave trough or a wave height think about it yes the lowest point in a wave is trough well done everyone you have done a great job dear students it's a time for home assignment class 8 geography book read the page number 26 carefully learn and write the long question number 5 from the exercise given at the page number 30 learn and write the following short questions the seven short questions are given here you may find the answers for these short questions from the page number 26 Dear students before you start writing in a notebook you all must follow these instructions notebooks should be neatly covered name subject class roll number and the contact number must be neatly written on the notebook cover draw margin lines on the both sides of the page date and day should be mentioned on title line chapter name or the topic must be written in the center below the title line index should be maintained regularly and the parents sign should be there in the given column dear students i hope you have learned some meaningful content today see you soon inshallah take great care of yourself may allah bless us all ameen Allah Hafiz